Hi guys, today we are going to generate some Python scripts using the JetGPT API. Now we are going to set up the OpenAI API key. By this time, you should have already subscribed to this platform. Okay, and now uh, we are going to look for the API key here. View API keys. All right, and this key, uh, you should have already saved this key in a text file, right? Okay, and uh, you copy this key, okay, from your text file, and you go to environment variables, just type env here, and you click this edit the system environment variables you have to click here okay this button and you have to input this parameter here okay under user variables environment variables okay so uh, if you have not input this uh, you need to click new okay and then you just put open ai api key here and then uh, your api key string here all right, and uh, you also uh, it's good to double check that your Python path is right there here. Okay, under system variables, the path. Okay, check that the uh, your Python path is uh, inside this uh, environment variable. After you have uh, verified. Uh, all these um, I think is good you are good to go um, and you can now perform uh, your Python uh, executions for open AI now okay you can see from here okay this open API key so uh, if you remember we have configured this uh, as one of the parameters in the environment variables okay so this is the name of the parameter open ai api key open ai api key all right so this line of function uh, points to here so it will get the uh, api key string okay and put it into this ob object okay so um, okay this is the title this is the subheader this is the text input this is the placeholder enter your request okay what you type will be under key okay and uh, it, this uh, this uh, space here is important all right so uh, if you do not want to put uh, in fact, you can put something here like uh, key in your input. Okay, but if you do not want, you can just uh, leave a space like this, but don't do this. Okay, so uh, if you do this, uh, you will get an error. Okay, so you have to give a space. All right, and here is the if. If the button is clicked, uh, you will run this um, block of codes. All right. The most important part is here: the loop, uh, Open AI completion, create. We are using the DaVinci Zero Three model, and this is the user input. Okay, so you put something here, uh, and it will be uh, passed to the prompt variable. All right, so uh, max tokens is very important also. Uh, if you put, uh, let's say 120, uh, it will give a uh, very uh, little uh, output. For example, it may be giving, uh, if you put 120, it might give about 10 to 20 lines, okay? So if you want the complete output, the complete response, you should put more like this. Okay, so temperature is the randomness. So uh, I put 0 0.5. So uh, it is up to you depending on uh, 
whether you want it uh, to be very, very random or not. So uh, this part is the response. Uh, this is how you break up the response by uh, you append uh, as the new um, response that is the text come out you combine them together and then you strip out the any empty strings okay and then you finally display the result uh, in a python format python scripting format okay so you put it like this okay three back uh, three back uh, across apostrophe okay and python all right so that's it so now uh, you are ready to uh, run so uh, let's see uh, you do it like this okay stream lit okay and then run and stream this is the file name stream lit all right and enter okay so uh, you can uh, ask this to you can ask a uh, chat GPT da Vinci to give you a Python code let's say uh, a sample Python script for vector space okay and submit Okay, so uh, so if you want to check uh, uh if you want to check whether uh there is uh some more there are some more if you if you want to check whether there are some more codes, uh that is below you can just uh type please continue. Okay, there's no more code. 